Draw on and get back to winning ways at the tip of the top of the table over in Spain, of course, to be level on points with the leaders, Real Madrid. What's going to go on this week? We're going to take a little look. <laughs> over in Spain and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new where you've been smash your subscribe button back to all things La Liga related Blab and Rovers related we got it all here boys under one Ruski that's right Real Madrid are top uh, but they're level with Girona of course on 38 points but big big game ahead this weekend as Girona take on Barcelona we'll get into it all of it in a second of course big reach out to my VIPs they are the patrons you know who you are but of course uh, make sure you smash the like and make sure you smash the subscribe a whopping 78% of you are still unsubscribe so here we go recapping the last results before we jump into the next one so these are them uh, as you see last Palmas big two new winners of a Getafe I went the other way on that one Girona back to winning ways over a tricky Valencia 2 on win for me on that one I, went, I actually went with the 2 new winners 2 on win was the final score Bilbao 4 new winners of a Valicano I went with the 3-1 win Real Madrid 2 new winners of a Granada I went with the 3-0 Osasuna and Sociedad with a draw there uh, I went with the 2-1 away win Mallorca 0-0 draw against Alaves I went with the draw as well on that one Almira did a uh, draw also with Betis I went with the 2 new win on the road there. Villarreal with a draw against Sevilla. I went with a 3-1 win for Sevilla. Barcelona 1-0 uh, win over Atletico. 2-1 win in my eyes. Sota Vigo 1 and Cadiz 1. So, okay scores for me. Not brilliant. Uh, but meanwhile, Real Madrid and Girona top of the table. Four points clear over Real, uh, Barcelona. And of course, who are three points clear over Madrid. Going down, Almira, Granada and Salta Vigo. Uh, but of course, that could all change this week indeed. This is the link to the Super Brew. And of course, what's gone on the Super Brew? Well, I'll tell you in just... If I can find my mouse in one second, then uh, we're going to jump into it very, very soon. Of course, busy weeks still ahead over in uh, Spain. So let's get into it. Here we go. Jumping over there. We're hopping around a little bit. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. So Zandus with 90.5 points. Kevin up there with 16. 15.5 is Raymond Reddington. Uh, of course, I am down here with 11 points, of course. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, but not brilliant as well. But if you do see your name in there, make sure you smash your subscribe table with a wooden spoon. Not great indeed. The overall table, though, looks like this with me nestled in there in eight spot, up one spot to number eight. Sanders up 11 spots to number nine. Well done to him. Costas K, Maka, Frosty, Vinny Hong, and Furious 77, as they were really. James B. Sifty closing in on them, though, in six spot with Reddington also up four spots to seven. Uh, but to big movers there, Kevin up seven spots to 12. Still lots of points to be had here over in Spain. So that's, of course, that. That. We'll, of course, keep you up to date with that as, that, of course, that brews around. Don't forget, free to enter and all that kind of jazz. But we'll see what goes on this week. Of course, with the standout Barcelona against Girona. Can Girona get anything from that game? We'll see very, very soon. We'll kick it off, though, with Atletico Madrid up against Almira, which should be a one-sided affair. Come on Sunday, December the 10th. Played to the 14 times 2007. We've got six wins for Atletico, two for Almira. Six draws, of course. Biggest win for the host there. 3-0 win. They've got 26 goals in 14 games. 1.86 goals a game on average. Almira, though, 2-0 win their biggest score 16 goals in 14 games 1.14 goals a game heading into this last time around uh, actually uh, heading into this uh, Almira on one win in the last six 25% form for them right now they are rooted 20th in the table with four points up against Atletico fourth at the table with 31 points 67% form for them heading into this last time around over at the uh, Civitas Metropolitano it was a 2-1 win for Atletico who were unbeaten again over Almira over the last four uh, last time around uh, well, the bookies odds here sorry we have uh, 92 on uh, is your Madrid red hot favourites 5 to 1 is the draw 10 to 1 is your long shots that's of course Elmira we're going to go with a 3 0 win for Madrid comfortably done remaining in the top 4 you would imagine meanwhile a bit of a banger here is Real Betis it is Real Madrid coming at you over at the Benito Villarreal uh, played for the 55 times 5 11 wins for Betis 27 wins for Real Madrid and 17 draws of course biggest win for the host here 2 0 win they got 52 goals in 55 matches 0.95 goals a game Madrid though 6 1 win their biggest scoring 92 goals in 55 matches 1.67 goals a game Real Madrid of course 92 percent form for them right now running five in the spin they are top with 38 points on the board right now up against Real Madrid with seven through 25 points on the board however just one win in four uh, of course last time around though over at the uh, Benito Villamirán it was a nil nil draw in fact the last uh, yeah Real Betis without a win against Real Madrid over the last six uh, but the odds right here right now we're looking at Real Betis 
Uh, 3-1 to one for the victory. 5-4 to four on is your Madrid. 3-1 to one is draw. Everything's smelling like uh, something good for Real Madrid. I'm going to go with a shocker here. 2-2 two, two draw. Point at the back for Real Betis, which will open up a bit of a chance for the likes of Girona and Barcelona in the race for the title. Meanwhile, Deepa Deepa Alaves up against Las Palmas. That's uh, also on Saturday, December the 9th. Now, these two sides have played each other 26 times. In 1996, 10 minutes of Alaves, 7 minutes of Las Palmas, and 9 draws. Biggest win for Alaves. 4-0 win. They got 36 goals in 26 matches. 1.38 goals a game. Up against Las Palmas. 6-1 win there. Biggest score on 32 goals in 26 matches 1.23 goals a game heading into 75% form for Las Palmas right now just one defeat past six uh, they are eight for the table and 21 points on the board looking good right now up against Alaves 58% form for them right now uh, just one defeat past five 13 for the table with 16 points on the board last uh, as, at the moment last time around though over at the uh, Estadio de Mentantosa it was a 1-1 draw back in September 2022 uh, Alaves unbeaten against Las Palmas over the last six couple of wins and four draws. The odds right here, right now, we're looking at uh, we're looking at Alaves coming at your even steams for the victory. We've got Las Palmas a, four, a sixty to five, a twenty one to ten is the draw here. We're backing a tough one here, one one scoreline. Both sides on a good bit of form at the moment. Meanwhile, Barcelona against Girona is the standout game. It's of course coming at you. On Sunday, December the 10th. Now, these two sides. Oops, I've pressed the wrong bloody button. These two sides uh, have played each other, according to my eyes. Uh, 10 times to 2007. Eight wins for Barcelona. Nothing for Girona. And two draws. Biggest win for Barcelona. 6-1 win. They've got 25 goals in 10 games. 2.5 goals a game on average. Girona, though, no wins. Eight goals scored in 10 games. 0.80 goals a game. They are on 92% form, though, for them right now. They are second with 38 points on the board. Five wins at the last six. Barcelona, though, just one defeat at the last six. 75% form for them right now. Third in the table with 34 points on the board last time around though over in the uh well in barcelona where it was nil nil it was back in april 2023 uh so uh girona might their good bit of form might have started back then the odds here though for this game we're looking at barcelona two to one on for the victory four to one is the draw four to one is your long shots that's girona i want and i want something for girona in this game but i just can't see it three no win barcelona at home should be even though it's uh, a weird venue these days. Uh, they should get it. Uh, Cadiz up against Osasuna coming at you on Sunday, December the 10th. Played you the 15 times done. Three, two wins Cadiz. 12 wins Osasuna. And one draw. Me, uh, Cadiz, though, biggest win for them. 1-0 win. They've got 10 goals in 15 games. 0.67 goals a game on average. Osasuna, 2-0 win. Their biggest score 26 goals in uh, in those 15 games. 1.73 goals a game on average. Osasuna, though, without winning five. Uh, 33% form for them right now. 14 for the table with 15 points on the board. Up against Cadiz, uh, 60 for the table. Uh, 12 points on the board. 50% form for them right now. 1-2, lost to and drawn to. Last time around, though, at the Estadio Ramon de Carenza, it was a 1-0 win for Osasuna, who are, uh, of course, f six wins on the spin uh, against uh, Cadiz right now. The odds right here right now, we're looking at Cadiz, 50-8 for the victory, 29-20 is your Osasuna, 21-10 is the draw. 1-1 one, one apiece for me on this one. Taking it to the house. Getafe up against Valencia, of course, coming at you uh, on Friday, December the 8th. Now, these two sides have played each other 41 times, 204. We've got 13 minutes of Getafe. 19 minutes Valencia and 9 draws. Biggest win for Getafe, 3-0 win. They've got 53 goals in 41 matches, 1.29 goals a game. Valencia, though, 5-1 win there. Biggest score 41 goals in, uh, sorry, 66 goals in 41 games, 1.61 goals a game on average. Valencia, though, 50% form for them right now. 1-2 lost to and drawn to. They are ninth with 19 points on the board. Up against Getafe, 67% form for them right now. Just one defeat past six. They are ninth. Uh, they are level on ninth with 19 points. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, coming at you, though, last time around, though, over at the uh, Colosseum, Alfonso Perez. It was a 1-0 win for Getafe back in February 2023. The odds here for this one, though, uh, we have Getafe 13-8 for the victory, 50-8 is Valencia, and 2-1 is the draw. I'm going to go with a home win on this one, 2-1 win for Getafe, bouncing back, and of course climbing up the table. They go. Meanwhile, it is Granada. It's Atletico Bilbao coming at you on... Uh where is this one? This is Sunday, December the 10th. Play each other again, these two sides. Uh, 20 times, 2011. Eight wins for Granada, eight wins for Bilbao, and four draws, of course. Biggest win for Granada. 4-0 win. They got 24 goals in 20 matches. 1.20 goals a game on average. Bilbao, though, 4-0 win there. Biggest also. 23 goals scored in 20 games. 1.15 goals a game heading into this. Bilbao, though, unbeaten in the last six games. 83% uh, form for them right now. Fifth at the table with 28 points on the board. Up against Granada, who haven't won the last 13 games. They are eighth, 8% 8 form. 19th at the table with seven points on the board. Last time around, though, over at the Estadio Nuevo Los Caminas. It was a 1-0 win for Granada uh, back in May 2022. In fact, the away side hasn't got anything out of this game since Bilbao beat Granada back in uh, September 2016. The odds here, 50-4 for you, Granada. 11-4 is the draw. 10-7 on is your Bilbao. They should win this one. 2-1 win for me. Again, three points in the bag. Meanwhile, Villarreal against Sociedad. Coming at you. Bit of a zinger this one on Saturday, December the 9th. That's right. These two sides played each other 48 times in 1998. 20 wins for Villarreal, 12 wins for Sociedad and 16 draws. Biggest win for Villarreal. 
out. 4 0 win. They got 67 goals in 48 games, 1.40 goals a game on average. Sociedad 3 0 win. Their biggest score 47 goals in 48 matches, 0.98 goals a game. Sociedad, though, without a win, in, uh, without a loss in the last five, six, seven, seven, four for them. They are sixth with 26 points. Up against Villarreal, just one uh, loss also, 75% form for them over the last six. 12th in the table with 16 points on the board. Last round, though, in Villarreal, was a 2 0 win back in April 2023. The odds on this one, though, in a very, very tight one. 23 to 10 is your Villarreal. 12 to 5 is the draw. 6 to 5 is your Sociedad here. I'm uh, Sociedad on my team here. Uh, but Villarreal, I've got Ben Pereira and Diaz, who got a goal disallowed. They're going to win this one, I think. 2-1 win for the hosts here. Taking a win over my boys and the three points. Uh, meanwhile, Valacano against Celta Vigo coming at you on Monday night. That's right. All eyes on this one. Uh, Played 34 times since uh, since uh, 1993. We've got um, 15 wins for Valacano, 9 wins for Celta Vigo, and 10 draws. Biggest win for Valacano. 3-0 win. They've got 43 goals in 34 matches. 1.26 goals a game. But Vigo, though, 6-1 win their biggest score. 37 goals in 34 matches. 1.09 goals a game. Celta Vigo, though, 42% for them right now. Just one defeat in the past five. They are 18 for the with nine points on the board. Up against Valacano, 42% form for them. One win in six, uh, 11th at the table, and 19 points on the board. Last time around, though, over at the Estadio del Valacas, it was a 0-0 draw back in November 2022. So the unbeaten against Valacano over the last five there. Pick up a couple of wins and three draws. The odds here for this one, 11-8 is Valacano, 11-5 is the draw. 21-10 is, of course... The draw, 11-5 is your way win, sorry. 2-1 win for Valacan here. Salto Vigo taking the L on this one. Maloca up against Savia, of course, on Saturday, December the 9th. Played each other 34 times in 1989. 7 wins for Maloca, 16 wins for Sevilla, and we got 11 draws, of course. Biggest win for Maloca. 4-0 win. They got 34 goals in 34 matches. One goal a game on average. Sevilla, though, 5-0 win there. Biggest score, 58 goals in 34 matches. 1.71 goals a game on average. 25% form for Sevilla right now. Uh, 15 for the table with 13 points on the board. Up against Maloca, 42% form for them right now. Just one win in Six, 17th of the table with 11 points on the board. Last time around, the visit Maloka Estadi, it was a 1 0 win for Sevilla, who were unbeaten against Maloka over the last six, two, uh, four wins and two draws. The odds here, right here, right now, Maloka 13 8 for the victory, 9 5 is your Sevilla. 2 to 1 is your draw. 2 to 1 for Sevilla, they should win this one, but I don't know. I really don't know. Gonna go with that there, of course. Those are my picks. Make sure you get your own picks in nice and early. This is what the table will look like. Real Madrid will open up a one-point lead over Girona. Barcelona closing in on them, though, in third spot. Athletic Madrid also halving the distance as well. Bill Bauer keeping up the heat as well. Going down, though, Sol Diego, Granada, and Elmira. Those are my picks. Of course, that's the link to the Super Brew. Make sure you smash the old likey-likey. Smash the old subscribe. And, of course, hit the little bell as well. Of course, your non-stop shop for uh, La Liga football continues here at Blackburn Road Seas. But until then, I'll see you soon for the next one.